Extra Minutes. I mean, the story of Lauren Kish is incredibly sad and frustrating. Here's a woman who had to beg to have the treatment done in the first place. They agree to it. In the two years that she had to wait, the multiple sclerosis has taken its toll on her body. So, you know, every minute counts for this woman. She's finally told that she can have it. They harvest her stem cells. She starts chemotherapy and then they pull the pin. The ethics committee just says no. That was when he said to us, I'm sorry, but we're not taking you any further. It's the end of the line. And I said, but you've got my stem cells. And I said, well, what am I supposed to do now? And he said, we'll find another hospital to put them back in. <laughs> we were like, what? When you, when you ask doctors who are pro this treatment how dangerous it is, they say there is a 1% risk of fatality. And that risk comes about predominantly through infection. And for a lot of people, that's why they're saying, why can't we have it here? We trust our health system. We know how great it is in Australia. Why are we going offshore to places like India, Israel, Moscow, America? And not saying that they're bad, but you know, when you can trust your own health system so well, why would you put yourself at that sort of risk and, and increased risk of infection? For me, the frustration is not understanding why. I, I come to a story like this accepting that there must be a reason. You know, there, there's often two sides to a story and it's, it's frustrating when as a journalist you try to put a story together and you do seek some answers and there's nothing, there's no explanation. But you know, beyond me, there's no explanation for the patient. You know, I'm happy to understand why they would stop treatment halfway through. Without an explanation, I can't understand it at all. Thank you.